Hey there, you guys. Okay, so today we're doing Module 4, Lesson 20, which is how do we convert unit measurements and solve multi-step word problems. So, here's the deal. I'm giving you this conversion chart, which you need to memorize, please. You can copy it into your notebook, which is highly recommended. These measurements are not given to you on the state tests, nor are they given to you throughout this lesson, except when I give them to you. But the problem set and the homework and the exit ticket, they just expect that you know these measurements because they're very common and they're small units, okay? And they're standard units of measurement, which is what we in the United States use, so they expect at your age that you know these things. The only thing that gets confusing to me is the liquid measurement here which um, Connor gave us that really good visual with the gallon, the big G, and then everything inside of it with the quarts and then the pints and then the cups like as it got smaller and smaller. So you can write that in your notebook or I think you have that in your notebook someplace already. You could go back to that. But this stuff, guys and girls, you need to know. All right. You can re you can revert back to it whenever you need to throughout your homework tonight and throughout the lesson I give it to you, but you're going to need to know this on your own. Okay, that being said, here we go. So this is when we convert units from large units to smaller ones. This is the way it goes. So we have 4 thirds of a yard equals how many feet? So see how nice I am? I gave you the conversion right there, which you should know. So 4 thirds a yard of 3 feet is basically what you're saying because you want to turn yards into feet. Okay, and 1 yard is 3 feet. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So 4 thirds times 3, because there's 3 feet in a yard, okay? We're going to make 4 thirds into an improper fraction. So do you remember how to do that? You take the denominator, times it by the whole number, and then add in the numerator. So it's 3 times 4 plus 1 is 13 thirds. Okay, remember? So we'll do it over here again. So you have this to go back to. So it's 3 times 4. And then that answer is 12 plus... 1 is 13 thirds. Okay, so then we have 13 thirds over the 3, that becomes my denominator, and I could do the dividing, so 3 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3, they're both 1. 13 times 1 is 13, so my answer is 13 feet. So 4 and 1 third yards equals 13 feet. Okay, so that is my answer. That's how I convert large units to smaller units. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Three and a half gallons equals how many quarts? There's my conversion. Okay, so I need to know that. It's three and a half gallons times four quarts. So really the gallons at this point you don't really talk about. You almost just say this. Three and a half times four. You convert this into an improper fraction. It becomes seven halves, right? Because two times three is six plus one is seven. S keep the same denominator. Times four. And I know that seven times four is 28 halves, right? So 28 halves and 28 divided by 2 is 14 quarts. So 3 and a half gallons equals 14 quarts. All right. Now we go from small units to large units. So now my conversion, it's still 3 feet 
well that's an awful F, 3 feet equals 1 yard. But now you have to think of it in the reverse way. You're going from small to big. So 11 feet is not, you're not going to think of this as like 3 feet. You're, you're thinking of it as yards. So one, 1 foot is a third of a yard. Right? Does that make sense? Because 3 feet equals 1 yard. So one third of a yard equals one foot. I'm going to say that again. Since three feet equals one yard, one third of a yard equals one foot. Okay? I, I, you, you can ask me about that tomorrow if you want, but I can't really explain it any other way than saying that because one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals one yard, right? So each of these is feet, Right? One foot plus one foot plus one foot equals one yard because this is three feet equal a yard. Okay, so then we do 11 feet times a third of a yard. So this is down and dirty, quick and easy. 11 times 1, that's my numerator, is 11. 3 stays my denominator. So 11 divided by 3 is 3 and 2 thirds. Okay? Not that painful, right? Here's a word problem for you. A container can hold four and a half pints of water. How many cups of water can two containers hold? All right. So, we did I did part of it here. So, four and a half pints and we have cups. So our conversion is pints to cups. You see that? This is what we're given, and now we want to know how many cups it would be. So we convert pints to cups. So we have four and a half pints times two cups, because two cups gives me one pint. Four and a half times two. Again, this is easy because you don't have to convert the mixed number because you're just doing a whole number by a whole number and tacking on the fraction. So this is a mixed number this way and you're just multiplying it by 2. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. That's 9 halves times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. The denominator stays 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay, so 9 cups. Right, am I done? No because I'm asking about two containers. So then I have to say 9 cups times two containers equals 18 cups. Okay, so you have to go through the whole thing and make sure you answer each and every part. So I'm looking at the problem set word problems and basically it's saying multi-step problems because you have to do exactly that you're finding the one and then it's telling you it's it's actually two so you have to multiply that by two in one of them it says um, hold on a second where's the one that I was looking for uh, so it says, like, they want you to find out how much each truck carries in, of topsoil. Then they want to know how many, how much topsoil are all three trucks carrying. So first you're f finding out individual trucks. Then you're putting it together to find out the total number for all three trucks. Um, then the other part, I'm, I'm looking at the other multi-steps gallons to quarts and again it's all together so it's individually and then it's all together and then the last one is again how much does he have now 
and that's basically it okay so that is the lesson and you are going to do the whole problem set but number four is a bonus so number four is optional if you don't choose to challenge yourself that's up to you I would like you to try number four but it is an option okay so that's the deal for lesson 20 and we're getting through so this module has how many lessons a mere 33 but we're not doing all of them so don't worry about it so we're skipping a couple as we go alright so concentrate on your work make sure you memorize those conversions and I will see you tomorrow